This is our first look at the POCO X4 GT. Good day, you beautiful people! Welcome to the Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. And we just unboxed the POCO X4 GT. In this video, we're gonna take a look at what this phone is all about. We're also gonna do a quick camera tour and some sample shots. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at this phone. So first off, that is a matte back, so that's better for the smudging situation. Now there is a white version of this which I feel like would be way prettier. So shout out to Poco. Can I get the white phone next time? <laughs> Three cameras on the back and a flash though that other third camera is a little tinier than these two. That is a 64 megapixel main camera, an 8 megapixel wide, and a 2 megapixel macro. And up front on that punch hole is a 16 megapixel selfie camera. We have flat sides on the phone, but the edges here are a little bit curved for a better in-hand feel. On the right, that's a volume rocker and a fingerprint scanner that doubles as an on-off button. And that's a pretty fast scanner. At the bottom, speakers. These are Dolby Atmos speakers. You have USB-C charging port and a SIM tray. Now that houses a dual nano SIM situation. And up top, you have the headphone jack, speakers, and an air blaster. Now the screen is nice, bright, and snappy, although I will say that I do notice um, a little chin here. And you guys, this is how videos look and sound like on this phone. of phones in the market specifically there are a lot of phones that poco just released we have the poco f4 gt which i did a video on i'll link it up here and down below and the poco f4 how does the poco x4 gt fit into that whole picture ranked from the most powerful and ranked from the priciest we have the poco f4 gt we have the poco f4 a more all-around phone again i have a video on that as well i'll link it up here and down below and then we have the poco x4 gt which is is the best price device of the three. Despite that, this thing runs on a MediaTek Dimensity 8100 and it's a 5G device. It traps 144 Hz 20.5 by 9 screen, which means that it's technically a narrower screen compared to the POCO F4. It traps a 5080 mAh battery and 67 watt fast charging, Dolby Atmos, and a headphone jack. This thing can also shoot in 4K. Right, speaking of cameras, camera tour time. Right, let's go camera tour time. So let's get to cameras. You have photo, wide, 1x, 2x, up until 10x. Back to 1x. Up top, you have flash settings, HDR settings. There is AI. You also have all the different filters. There's also a beauty filter and you can toggle it. You have your Google Lens. And then more settings, size, settings, timer. You have a movie frame mode and your macro mode is over here as well. On the right, you have a portrait mode and you can toggle the blur between an aperture of 16 to 1. And you can see that behind me, that does make everything more blurred out. Here you have your beauty filters and even more filters. Up top, you have the same settings, no macro mode on portrait. You have your night mode, wide, 1x, 2x, up until 10x as well. And then up here, you have size settings and a movie frame mode. 
Under more, you have a 64 megapixel shooter that zooms up until 2x. No wide, you have flash settings, you have your different filters. We have a short video mode, which I've told you about. This is basically Xiaomi's solution to Android not being optimized for social media. So instead of shooting in your app, your social media app, you shoot here and this shoots quick 15 second clips and then share down here with that button your social media should be here when they're signed in you can do wide 1x 2x up until 6x here but that's not all you can do you can add a background music you can change speed you have like fun effects like different filters the kaleidoscope mode which is really trippy and a beauty mode and then up here you can shoot in 720p or 1080p you have a panorama mode a vlog mode something we've seen before basically allows you to stitch like videos into like cinematic vlog type things really quickly you have templates now if you'd want to see me test these features out let me know because i usually do that in social media tests up here you also have drafts nice slow-mo mode time lapse mode long exposure mode there's also a clone mode again we've seen this before and then you can also edit the menu on to the other side we have video you have wide 1x 2x up until 6x on video you can also do 4k at 30 fps here there is a beautify mode you have different filters and then you also have a steady video mode document scanner you can do black and white enhanced and then wide 2x <laughs> this is just for document scanner and even 10x as you can see like it does that square thing and for example, the piece of paper is the square thing. Wait, there. See? You see how like that takes that part and gives you sort of a document. Very useful. You have a pro mode and all the different adjustments down here. You have all these different features as well. You can shoot 64 megapixels and then under settings, focus speaking, exposure verification, and then you can do a video as well. Now there's no selfie here. Let's go to video a selfie, hello. Up here you have your different filters. Here you have your beautify mode, and then you have your movie frame mode, and you can shoot 1080p 60 FPS. Under photos, can you zoom in or out? No, you cannot, but you have different beautify filters, even more detailed on the selfie camera. You have your different filters. And then HDR up here, you have your palm shutter settings, movie frame mode. Under portrait, see how the background blurred? You can do F16 to F1, which is more blurred. You have your different filters, your beautify filters flash settings and same palm shutter there is a selfie night mode as well can you zoom in or out no you cannot different beautify filters flash settings same settings and then we're back to more which we've already seen so now it's time for some sample shots Poco X4 GT. Let me know what your thoughts are on this phone. Let me know if this is something you'd likely check out or if you want to see a camera vlog test or a social media test, comment down below. All details on pricing and availability I'll also put in the description box. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online at Tisa does underscore Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time.